Hi guys and good morning. It's Wednesday and you're probably wondering. <laughs> um, I'm so annoyed. The Yesterday's vlog basically I uh, it and I couldn't be on track when you're seeing this. It's Wednesday. You'll see this Thursday. But Monday's vlog you saw on Wednesday because today's Wednesday. I'm going to put it up today because basically my mom's in town. And Monday I had a full day of class. I vlogged. Yeah, I vlogged Monday. So you already saw, I think. Yeah. I can, I can go over really quickly a quick one minute summary to where we are today. So I had obviously class all day. I vlogged my whole day. I talked about my new classes, whatever. I came home. I had a few hours to edit uh, a main channel video that went up yesterday. It's like a Zaffle back to school haul. So if you want to check that out, um, it's on my main channel, PB Bunny 97 So I was editing that. And then basically I had personal training in the evening. Honestly, I was getting really exhausted because I have it. It's supposed to be at 9, but he was running late. and ended up being like, honestly, it ended up being at like 9.45, which was like a little annoying, but it's fine. <laughs> um... I was really, really tired because I already like had been up since 7 a.m. I have to wake up at 7 for class. Um, and I had like a really long day and it was like 9.30 and then so I worked out. I was done at like 10.30, 10, I was done at like actually 11 because we started kind of later. And then my mom's flight got delayed three hours. So she instead of like, instead of like landing at nine, she landed at like literally midnight. And she was just landed at like 8.30, so she landed at like 11.30. And then so she only got to me at like 12 20 in the morning and then i obviously i like uber eats us food from i like there's like a um like an asian food place it's called volcano so i put just like i don't know why i'm giving such details i got a bunch of food because i knew she'd be hungry because she was in the airport for so long plus like the delay so i literally ordered so much food and i, I ate a lot and i was up and then she came and we both ate and like we literally ate until like 1 30 a.m and so i had been up that day for like 18 hours straight and then yesterday was just Tuesday, we had to wake up early again because we had like an errand to run where we had to go do something super early in the morning and it's a little bit farther from where I live. And so, it's just LA traffic also in the morning. It's honestly not far at all, it's like normal distance, but with LA traffic. So I like, oh, only got like five hours of sleep yesterday because I had to wake up at 7 a.m. again. And we had the longest day, we had to go run our errand and then we were in that area, so. We had like a day there and then I had to get a blowout and I just went with my mom and her hair doesn't hold blowouts ever. So she's always like, I don't want to go because like, I feel bad that you, like we're all gonna get it done and my hair literally falls out the next day. But um, yeah, so her hair like doesn't hold blowouts. Like they literally curl it so tight and put like a shit ton of hairspray and texture spray. She just has like that type of hair that's really straight that just doesn't hold curl. But we, I don't know why I'm getting some. Like I literally, this is a general thing. I can't tell a story without giving like so much detail. Like, oh no, 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 no. Right, this is not the right avenue um but so we did that and we got home with like 20 minutes to eat and then we went to spin together that was really really fun and then i got home so late like like as it like for to do stuff we got back from spin and then i was so exhausted oh my gosh we got back from spin and then we ate dinner and then i went to bed last night at like i want to say like 10 30 but I'm still, I feel like really tired because I just feel like I still haven't caught up in the past like two days, but it's fine because like whatever. I think tomorrow I'll sleep in until like, but I feel like I should just stay on this consistent schedule. Do you know what I'm saying? Because like if I tomorrow sleep in until like eight or nine, then like I'll get off of my 7 a.m. schedule because I like the 7 a.m. now, like that I'm forced to wake up for that for school. Like I don't mind it. And especially if I can start integrating that for like other days, like from Tuesdays and Thursdays, I can also get up at 7 a.m. That's really great for me because I can get so much more done you know what I mean so like I'm trying to and then it just gives consistency for me you know because then it's like not my body's not confused like 7 a.m one day 8 30 the next day like back and forth because it'd be like back and forth my body would be like you huh you know what I mean like I feel like I should just stick to one time and maybe like on the weekends I can wake up at 8 30 you know what I mean um but that's basically why and I tried I vlogged yesterday but like it was just like meh footage because I was like with my mom and in the morning we were super busy like I literally couldn't vlog and then the bits I could vlog were very like in between and I just don't feel like it was very qu a quality vlog in my opinion I mean you, you guys probably would like when it's fine but also not that because yesterday I just had no time to edit the vlog I mean I could have I got it when I got back from spin at like 8 but it would have gone up my time like 9 30 p.m so like like it just doesn't make sense I was just put it up today so that's why yeah there's Tuesday which is yesterday there's no vlog from then but now we're back on track because I cut out Tuesday if that makes sense anyway I'm driving to class right now it's I'm just like wow 
I brought a kombucha with me just to give me a little more energy. I had my Bulletproof, but I'm still like a little tired. Um, I'm wearing, also, oh my gosh, I was really flustered this morning because you know when someone's staying with you, like you get off your morning routine because normally like I'm not talking to anyone. I like wake up, I like get ready. Like I have a really, like I like having my morning routine like my shower, my skincare, I like jade roll my face, I put on my ice mask, like I like, that's like really, I just like need that, like if I don't do my morning routine how I like it, I'm not kidding, I will like lose my shit, like I have, like it's so important to me, like it builds, it's like a structure for my day, like it like relaxes me, it like gives me some like time before I start the day, it's like something I love, like I don't know if anyone else is like that about their morning routine, right? it's like so important to me to like start it off on like the right note and I love doing every part of it. I was really flustered this morning. It's not my mom's fault, all, but she's there, so I was like talking to her. Then Coco would be really cute, and it was like even if it threw me off, so I was a little frazzled this morning. Okay, my mom left my folders in here. Also, then I'm wearing this like top from Honey Bum. It's a black bodysuit, jeans, and then I'm wearing my Chanel Espadrilles. But um, my jeans like ripped. They already have a ton of rips. So it's not that big of a deal, but like. Okay, I can show you. They like ripped right there, a little open, but like they're already ripped, so I guess it's fine. But I was like low key, like, okay. Um, I brought the Tarte Cherry Kavita Kombucha. Also, I'm listening to my chill mix on Apple Music, and like, I don't know, none of the songs are my vibes. So I don't know why it's suggesting these. Like, this is, does that sound like something I've listened to? I just like don't understand. Like, I, I went through like 10 songs. Like, huh? For you, where's. The put these are the pussy cat dolls. Take taking over the club. I hate when I grow up. I don't know, like why I'm trying to I'm just like confused by this playlist. Like is there anything that I want gonna li wanna listen to? <laughs> Uplifting. Oh my! Here, maybe that's, maybe it's not. Okay, that's weird. My new okay, so that that was my chill new mix. There's my I new. Can someone explain Apple Music to me? I have Spotify and Apple Music, but I literally don't really use Apple Music unless there's a song, song on Spotify that I want to listen to. And you're probably wondering, bitch, why do you have both? Because I get the Apple one for the student discount and the Spotify one for the student discount. So like. It's a, it ends up being as if I'm only using one, so like life hack. Um, but like there was like my new chill mix, it was that, like custom songs for you, new chill, and there's like my new music mix. So like, so like why are there? So there's one like chill and one normal. What if? But what if my music taste is chill and then I have two super chill playlists? Okay, I don't know. I'm getting so into it. Let's shuffle this one. This sounds more like my bop. I'm ballin' so I put some diamonds on my fist. Oh, okay. Punch you when your mouth leave diamonds on your lip. Sound me rock, repress on the block, sliding your block, depress on my hops, counting all this money, getting used to having it. I take a fan and I put some mud in there. You say you got a party, I might pop up there. I'm fun to try my pants and all my pots out of there. I'm going fast, so you think you stop it here. I'm balling oh my gosh. so I'm Oh, I also really quickly I wanted to do um What's it called? You're probably one like so. Normally, when I get back from class, like as you see, get saw Monday, I'm drained. I'm sure you guys are like that too. The, obviously, my bracelets help a lot, but like I just get really tired, you know, because it's like a lot to drive and to sit in class for like eight hours and to drive back. Like that's like a day. But I'm like so psycho that like I just like can't stop my day. I'm like I have to be productive even though I'm like super tired. But I don't know. Like today, I have personal training, but low, low key. I kind of want to cancel because my mom's in town and I want to like maybe like go to a dinner with her or something. I don't know, I'm, like, do you ever just like make yourself laugh? I don't even, uh, oh my god, I'm like actually psychotic. I don't know if I didn't get enough sleep or I'm just psychotic, you know, I don't really know. But yeah, oh my gosh, 
dude i forgot to take that accelerator you guys, when you guys recommended to me you guys you said you work at vega i read all the comments just so you know i'm sure you notice because i reply to everything every single day sometimes i don't reply to every single comment but i read every single comment and like i address it in the next vlog and i guess if you're wondering why i don't always reply to every single comment because like the next day i'm gonna address everything so i'm like am i really gonna write everything out and then in the next vlog address it again i don't know if that's like weird but that's why i read every comment but one of you guys who works at vega was like you need to do the accelerator but i keep forgetting to take it after my workout so i training on monday which is really intense i don't know what like why i was he was feeling wild like like i was so sore yesterday and normally whenever i do like like a lot of legs i'm not sore the next day i'm sore in a day but i was so sore yesterday and i was so sore and i still went to spin and my legs are like numb and then today i woke up this morning and i felt as though like i was like you know how like Bar barbie has her legs and you can like twist them like like that like i felt like that's how it happened to me. Like someone took my legs and like just like freak like ah oh, like there there's so much pain. And I'm training again today because like I mean I like as I told you guys how I already said this. See like I already made this plan earlier, but if you don't should I explain this? Yeah, okay, well, I'll, I'll just explain it. So I used to go to spin every single day, but now that I started training, I don't do spin every, spin every day, I like alternate. So like Monday night I train, Tuesday I spin, Wednesday I train, what Thursday I spin, Friday I train, Saturday I spin, and Sunday I do off. Which is very hard for me to do but um i figure i need to take a day off and it, it really sometimes kills me when i'm sitting at home and i know there's a spin class happening at brisk 10 30 and i'm like wow you're not there it's fine i'm lazy um but i really do like need that one day off to like recoup because like honestly my body by saturday especially because like i do personal training on friday friday night and then saturday morning i do a mega class and so like after that mega class and plus the week of working out i'm not gonna lie i feel a little um you know a little worked out so sunday it's really good for me to take off even though i originally i was like i want to train on sundays but he doesn't work on sundays if he probably worked on sundays i probably would do training on sundays but i just don't want to spin again on sunday because honestly i would die i probably wouldn't actually I'd be fine but like you know what i mean also, oh my gosh, from Sage, I, if, if, I, if, I, if remember I hauled all that stuff I got, I got the Arrive Revived kit that I was going to use for, um, for, I to put in my car. I brought only two of the things because it wouldn't fit in my bag. I literally bring, like, this back to class, like, and then my laptop and a notebook and a folder because, like, I don't know what... Like, I like to take all my notes on my laptop. I need to, like, stop. I'm talking so long. But don't you hear professors are, like, no laptops? It's, like... Okay, but I'm saving trees. Like, I don't understand. Like, you really think that your class is more important than our environment? I know this sounds a little psychotic, but, like, you you really have such an ego that you'd rather, like, have everyone listen and pay attention than save trees. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, sorry. Like, my opinion is if your class is fucking boring, like, sorry, I'm online shopping. Like, I... And it's like, I'm, I don't know, if there's anyone else feel like it's like, you're already paying to, like, like, you're getting your salary. Like, chill. Like, we're all paying so much to go here. Like so much money so like if i want to go online shop like i'm gonna do that like do you know what I'm saying? like i don't know if that's like rude to say but like genuinely like you're doing your job you teach if some if some kid doesn't want to pay attention because 99 percent of the time i don't have to pay attention the entire time and i get really good grades I, i'm on the dean's list like i don't like i don't need to listen to every single word i know what when the tests are i know when the papers are due i'll write a bomb ass paper i know i'm gonna get an a so right now if i want to go on a little sephora because i'm running out of my cat body trans with some powder sweetie like i'm gonna do it you know what i mean i don't know just like i just think that's like also, or or we teach you like oh attendance is so strict it's like some classes like i just genuinely do not believe i need to be there every class like if there's a few tests or a few papers that i know what the reading is like i really don't need to go to class and you chew it down for me like obviously it's like I ideal to go but like do you know what i mean it's like it should be like your responsibility because like someone might need to go every day to, every time to get an a because they really want you know to engage and someone may literally only need to go twice a week to get an a you know so i'm just saying <laughs> like, i'm just saying you could do better like i'm just saying we could use our laptops Hi guys. so i got back from class i took a quick nap and then i just re-put on my eyelashes because i got this package in the mail and i am so shook it's so beautiful and i was like i have to take some photos with them i literally have personal training in 20 minutes so this makeup is gonna wipe off my mom said do you think i should take this makeup off or just work out with it what, what would you do what would what would Mama Bun do? Remove. You'd remove. Yeah. Clog your pores. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Um. But 
what's it called but i wanted to show you also i changed it to an outfit to because it would so it would look good for the photo so this top is from honey bum these jeans are from misguided um i wear these jeans all the time the one thing is like they fit really nice in the morning and turn, like fall throughout the day but i'll show you so this is what they look like it's like a white box so this is the brand and my friend sam has actually sent me like a mini flower from them and this is just like this basically white box of 42 roses and these they're so pretty and they smell so intense like when you open the box like my whole house my whole apartment right mom it started smelling like like my entire apartment like is like the strongest scent of roses like they're so it's so strong and they last an entire year and they're so 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 cute i'm obsessed and they come with a little like even carrying handle and i'm gonna put them like on my kitchen on the kitchen area um but i love them so much i had to show you guys it's so pretty the box is huge they're very lightweight though um like when i first saw this box in the apartment i thought it was gonna be something really heavy because it comes in like a huge box and i like, was like okay what is this gonna be and then i opened it and it was this and it's so light so um manifest so beautiful i just wanted to show you guys like all the roses are so nice i just i don't even know what, the, what do you think they're gonna spray them to make them last a year gmos Three, four, five. <laughs> 